Hello, and welcome to Home Sweet Home, a uh, Thief 2 fan mission by Lady Rowena. Now this mission is uh, kind of special, because this is, the first, this is the first mission in a three mission campaign that uh, Lady Rowena was working on when she died. So the campaign remains unfinished. The other two missions that were in progress uh, are lost. The only thing anyone's ever seen on them is uh, a few screenshots that she posted on the forums while they're underway. This first mission had already been sent out to testers, and so one of the testers um, had a copy of it, and it's been polished off by uh, Yandros to make it playable. So, yeah, this is the last of Lady Roman's missions. I do like the look already in this background picture of this canal. Uh, that looks interesting. Let's give it a go. Home sweet home. So we got easy. Well, easy hard. Expert. Wait for Zach to deliver the pharmacy key to you. When you have the key, sneak into Mercutio's home and steal the statue called the Unknown God. You don't want to leave a trail of innocent blood behind you. Don't kill any unarmed people. Not an expert, so you don't kill anyone. Um, well, I, yeah, I don't intend to kill people, but uh, if I'm being attacked, I don't really have any other way out. I do want that as a as an option, as usual, because it beats uh, being able to kill a guard that you can't otherwise deal with. Definitely beats a lot of uh, quick loading, quick saving, or a lot of waiting around. I mean, I do a lot of waiting around anyway. Uh, this mission will end, I believe, well, as soon as I complete this objective of stealing the statue. So I just need to uh, see what else, everything else I can see to do, or other side objectives I get before I do that. But let's get started. Hey, it's been a while since I set foot inside here. This place has seen better days. I'm not here to stay anyway, just long enough to take care of a little job. A man called Sebastian has come to me with a tempting proposal. He wants me to steal an ancient artifact, the Unknown Guard, from the house of Mercutio, who owns a pharmacy in Wayside. Besides being rich, the guy's also an art collector. Just out of curiosity, I dug up some information on this Sebastian, as I've never heard of him before. It turns out that he's the partner in the right arm of Alexandros, a rather bizarre character, a stranger who appeared in the city one day out of nowhere. He purchased and restored the manor which once belonged to Constantine, and made a gentleman's club of it. Ah, I wonder what Constantine would say about that. But I don't really give a damn. As long as I get paid, I'm not going to ask where the money is coming from, or why they want that item so badly. Mercutio's house is inaccessible and well guarded, but its weak point is the pharmacy, which is attached to the manor. It's protected by a gate with a strong lock, but Zack, an old buddy, promised to provide me with the key for it. The authorities announced a curfew was in effect for some reason, but do they even need a reason? I suspect that they do it every now and then just to keep things under control. By the way, Reuben Varden, the new sheriff, is another sinister villain. Even worse than true it was, if that's even possible. Anyway, a curfew has never slowed me down, so I'm not going to change my plans. I'm just waiting for Zack to bring me the key, then I'm ready to go. Is that your Zack? New objectives. Someone's knocking at the door. Hurry, it must be Zack. From a friend. Oh. Mr. Garrett. I have to inform you that Zack won't be coming. He was arrested a few hours ago. He tried to give me a message for you, but he didn't have enough time. I advise you to stay home tonight as the streets are full of policemen. It's too dangerous to even come up here. A friend. Now I just need my equipment. Alright, what's the new objective? Damn. It seems that Zack has gotten into trouble. Go to the police station and try to free him. Or to at least get the key. Don't forget to equip, equip yourself before going out. Ooh, we have a... Nice. Is that me? 
Oh god, there's people everywhere. Uh, oh right, this is this is like uh, Garrett's home in uh, Thief 2 Mission Ambush. With the window that looks out across the street to to this place, to this other open window I can leap across. This one, this window is much bigger than that one was though, which makes it easier to leap in. That was always a tricky jump. Apple, I'll take that. Which means I have another window out looking at here. Which means if this is Garrett's old apartment from there, oh look at that skybox. That's awesome. City stretching off in the distance. Oh dear, everything breaks, doesn't it? Ah. Uh, which means if this is Garrett's apartment and his equipment is stored in this, uh, the back of this cupboard. And indeed, it is. Sword, blackjack, lockpicks, compass, a few moss arrows, a few wood arrows, scaling orb, and some arrows. What do we got? Four broadheads, three waters. Three moss and four rovers. Can I turn the lights off? Oh, I can. Good. Don't want to waste oil. Also, why does Garrett have a banner in his house? Banners have to die. Okay. Problem solved. So I could begin. Oops, it's a bit bright here. I'm not sure why. Don't tell me it's going to be that light everywhere outside, thanks to the moon. I could jump over there and get in that window. That's one way to proceed. To get out the door, perhaps. Getting out the door seems a little boring. <laughs> Just wondering, is there a way out here for me and my rope arrows? Not really, I could get down there. I could drop onto those crates safely. I won't even notice on that gate. Man, who'd have thought I would be Spending so much time trying to figure out how to leave my uh, apartment. This is going to wake people up, isn't it? I don't know. That's quiet. Imagining things now. Yep. Why is it so light there? I guess it must be just the moon. We're in the shadow now. There's just a hammer right here, the same one that comes up. That I could see through the window. Why are there so many hammer rights on the streets? So who's, where's the hammer right that I saw coming in here? Oh, it must be him. Yeah. Alright. So I'll wait till he is turned around, and then I'll go and... Sight. What do we got here? Ah. Well, poor Caleb must have fallen asleep on the toilet. Ah, come on. It happens. Happens to the best of us. Is that metal? Yes. Oh, we got a, a wax press there. For key making. I'm sure that'll come in handy. And stairs. So it goes up the street, and this goes. Oh, I see, there's a hammer right place here. Must be another entrance to that. Well, there's uh, somebody on the other side of the door. Let's make sure we're out of sight as we pick the lock. Oh, 
Oh dear, it's hard to tell where it's going to be dark. I hear that canal. Right, so who was I hearing that was walking right by here? Is this Hammerite come this way? I guess he must. Well, I guess maybe he can sleep as well. These people need to learn not to uh, hang around by my by my place. It's bad for their health and for mine. Nigel, you can sleep there. Wait, does this not go onto the street then? No, it doesn't. Okay. My mistake. What, what do we have? Old key blanks. Sacks. A gauge. And a note. Brother Caleb, Lady Whiplet's key is ready to be delivered. I left it on the workbench. I need some sleep now, so I shall see you tomorrow. Cyrus. I see you, so the uh, Hammerites are running a uh, key duplication. Deposit box three, new objectives. A deposit box key. There must be a few others scattered around the quarter. Collect them all. Optional. All right. We will be collecting people's safety deposit box keys so that we can, uh, presumably, so that we can steal their goods in the next episode. But uh... hello. You'll sleep better with the lights off, mate. Noise make it arrow. Is he gonna feel me walking past his feet here? Guess not. And some money. Oh well, sir, no need to disturb your slumber. Although if I make noise on the metal he might hear it and wake up, so that's something to be careful of. Alright. Well, I don't know whether we're going to need to make keys, but uh, we can steal Lonzi's hammers, mate. That's a handy way to. to get into places I shouldn't be, which is always fun for a thief. Guard again. City watch, huh? Always a nuisance. Come on. Oh, bollocks. I'm gonna take you down. No, you're not. You'll pay for this. You have no idea where I've gone. Alright, well, while he calms down. I will go out my other window. I guess that's why I have two exits. So when I uh, accidentally miss time a blackjack swing at the one, then I can go out the other. Let's try and do this without making too much noise. Good. What's this sign? Gate closed due to curfew from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. I don't think I can climb that right. Don't make too much noise while this guard is up and about and angsty. Don't go this way either. Oh, here he comes again. He's probably still on the alert. So I don't know if I'll be able to sneak up behind him unless it's actually dark. So I might not try, I might just stay back. We have a map, by the way. Oh, wow. Yes, we do. So we're on Upton Rise, up here by my apartment. And yeah, this is actually, this is a uh, reconstruction of uh, the T2 city map. We've got Market Square there. I mean, it's changed a bit. 
it's definitely changed quite a lot. But same basic layout. And uh, our home up here. Now Keetia's Manor, no longer Constantine's. I don't know, that doesn't look big enough to contain all of uh, Constantine's place, does it? Police station, Wayside Bank. Oh wait, the bank is already here, maybe we can actually get in the bank. And put those safety deposit box keys to good use. That would be intriguing. Patrick! You can come and join, uh, oh, it's not Caleb, Nigel, down here in this cubby. All right. Canal there. City streets. Tonight at the World Quarter Arena, Big Joe versus Swift-Footed Achilles. Ed the Red versus Aguirre, Smiling Jack versus Talk, Lou Cypher versus Fats Corrado. Grand Final, Baby Barracks Parade. Free entrance for ladies. Main event starts at 10 p.m. A wall caught a barrack fighting pits, huh? Citizens! As everyone already knows, a ferocious murderer is roaming the city. A fourth corpse was discovered in the Grand Canal this morning. Once again, the victim is a young woman whose identity is still unknown. Just like the previous ones, it seems that the unfortunate had been strangled first, then thrown completely naked into the water. Considering that the place where the murders are being committed is unknown, because the corpses might have been transported by the current from very far away, we are forced to ad adopt extreme measures in an attempt to pinpoint the area where the murderer operates. Hence, beginning this evening at sunset and for an indeterminate period of time, a curfew is in force. All citizens will have to remain in their houses. The only exception is for guards of every order and rank. All the gates, not only those which access the districts, but also those of private residences, Courtyards and canals must always be locked from sunset to dawn. Only in case of serious necessity will anyone be allowed to go out, and even then they must be escorted to their destination by a guard. Infringement of these rules for any reason will be punished by three days in prison. We are expecting maximum cooperation from all our citizens. Sheriff Ruben Varden. Murders, huh? Oh, I do like those lights in the window there on this angled wall. That looks really nice. Okay. Oh, now we get closed to curfew. I'm not going that way. So, let's check the map again. So, Upton Rise does connect to the Grand Canal. It's probably the best way to get through the town, to be honest. Interesting. Merry Widow Inn. Rooms. Dining. Home cooked food. Alright, well I won't go for a swim just yet. I'm sure I'll be doing plenty of swimming. Later in the mission. It's the same notice from the Sheriff. Hardy and Pratt security systems. Your security is our concern. I'm really sure I'm not. Not sure the security is uh, all that, but that's a good no reminder that uh, although the mechanists may be gone, the technology is still going to be around the city. Eleven. Mrs. Danvers, custom dressmaking. Well, all right. Well, I was hoping um, that I could get in from this side to that <laughs> balcony on the other side here. This balcony here and this open window. But it appears the canal, which I'm now swimming in, is not going to be the best place. The best way to get in there. Let's try jumping. I'm going to run up, but maybe I can make it. There we go. I don't know why I quick saved there. If I'm playing uh, just on my own, I probably would have quick loaded it, but it's not as if it takes a long time to go around. Now 
we go. Quiet character. Mrs. Danvers, you insult me. I'm not the one who stole your precious bracelet. I'm not a fence either. How the hell am I supposed to know if the stuff they bring me has been stolen? I'm not afraid of your threats as my activity is well known to the sheriff. Besides, he has much more important affairs to attend to these days than your complaints. Enough. Dear madam, I will not give away for free something I paid cold hard cash for. The bracelet will be available for purchase at Otis's Bazaar, but only until someone else buys it, so you'd better hurry. Otis. Well, uh, ooh, healing potion. Money box. Uh, bracelet, huh? Sounds valuable. I might have to uh, liberate it myself. Uh, scissors and a sewing machine. That's a very neat sewing machine model. I like it. Right, that's all we've got here. The streets are quieter, and uh, as long as it's possible, I guess I'll try staying on the streets instead of going through the canals. But the canals will definitely, I'm sure, will offer me access to places the streets don't. And uh, presumably fewer guards. Good to know there's a ladder there. And we have another guard. An archer. Not patrolling. Just watching. Oh no, they are patrolling. Is that the police station actually? Good question. Yeah, that is the police station. Explains the uh, female sergeant out the front there. Interesting that the uh, police station actually has a entrance uh, lit by torches there onto the canal itself. Got it right. What have we got here? Number four. Hmm. Is this an alcove? Just an alcove, or is there a door here? An alcove number three. Let's try that uh, canal entrance, shall we? I get stuck. I know it's lit by torches, but it uh, doesn't mean it's. Completely unsafe. In fact, it's quite, quite <laughs> dark in here. <laughs> but I probably need a key, right? Oh, hang on, here comes the sergeant again. Who's making that noise? Nobody. Oh, I can pick it. That's good. Why go to the police station first of all? Because it's here. Right. Sergeant. Do you have anything I can steal off your belt there? Keys. Money. Bollocks. Almost got spotted. Spotted inside the police station is not smart. So the light switch. Oh, that opens that door. Oh dear, cells. With nowhere much to hide. Guessing I can always hide in the cells. I hope nobody patrols here, but it seems somebody does patrol here. If you come one step closer, I'm going to have to hit you on the head. If you go away, I might not have to. 
Good. You chose wisely. Why is this one locked? I don't know. Nobody in there. Uh, oh, hello. Deposit box seven and three now. Like the sergeant walking by the hallway. I can't tell. And what's this room? Weapons? Evidence? Confiscated goods? I can't tell. And uh, I don't know when that guard's coming back. I'm just going to be a little bit patient and uh, see how much time they're going to give me to pick the lock of that next door. If I can, I will try to avoid um, knocking out all the police. Just, just be a bit stealthy here. Oh, you didn't stop, stop and wait this time. Evidence room, indeed. I wonder if they'll notice if this door is open. Uh, again, I, the stop didn't count, so I don't know how long I have. He's probably on his way back now, so I'm going to wait again and then loot the place after he's gone the next time. Seems a uh, probably a better way to do it. Well, he does go a long way, so I probably would have had time. There he comes. Well, sir, what are these notes? Dan, do you remember Joey the baker that we had in jail last night for breaking curfew? He came back this evening claiming to have lost his safety deposit box key in the cell. I sent him away saying that I have not the authorization, blah blah blah. Actually, I lost the cell key. The power went off and I wasn't able to find it anywhere. I only hope that it didn't slip into the sewers. Please take a look for it tomorrow morning before the taffer comes back. Chad. To whoever is on duty tomorrow morning, go call an electrician. We can't see a damn thing down there. Cell number one, Zach. Well known cut purse. Personal items. One blackjack. Two lockpicks. One empty purse. One message addressed to a certain Garrett. One key. Message from Zach. Garrett. I haven't managed to obtain the key yet. Meet me later at my home, 16 Grand Canal. I'm sure I'll be able to deliver it to you. Zach's home. Purse? How can I. Oh, there's an empty purse. Uh, Alright, our objectives just changed. Zach is not there. See if you can find him at his home. Oh yeah, I forgot we were supposed to come and see if we could find Zach at the police station. Uh, I was just here because it was here. Uh, good thing we've got his note with his home address. I wonder how many more safety deposit box keys there are. That's a nice... If they all actually work and I put stuff in the bank, that's a nice little side objective to find scattered keys. Alright, guard, I want to leave this room, but I don't know when you're coming back. And I don't want to walk into your face. Here he comes.
Yeah, those ones are terrible. Someone's gonna go downstairs. Walking past the door. Um, so that's an entrance onto the street. Damn it, I should have gone there. I should have closed that street door. That's the sergeant, I believe. Walking around upstairs. Someone coming down the stairs. Or maybe that's the garden. Who comes in here? Well, one downside of not knocking, not knocking everyone out is I can't find out everyone's names easily. Uh, one, I think, was called Otis. Is that what the note was addressed to? I can't remember. Yeah, so sometimes they'll wait here. Sometimes they'll just turn around and go back. This is probably down here. Why did I think I just... So he does go out to the street door, okay. Does that mean if I close it, he won't? That's the sergeant up there. Sergeant, I uh, was giving you the wrong rank. Lieutenant Ramilda Blake. She actually has her first name and her surname. Ah, it's fairly dark here, so I'll just leave her here. Oh, she has her own office. Captain's office. There. Do they have light switches? Uh, right, they've got the curfew notice in the office. That's odd, but okay. The banners. Oh, suspicious. Do any of these open? Fear not. Right, so they go down there on the street, does indeed open and close the door, so I have to be careful of that. Romilda, what I'm writing here is strictly confidential. For the umpteenth time, I have received an intervention request, both from the Hammerite High Priest Archibald and from Mr. Talbot, about the house in St. Terrace Walk. I know that you are a good friend of Mr. Talbot. That's why I feel it is my duty to give you fair warning. I can't ignore the Hammerite's plea any longer, and even if I did, they have stated that they will appeal to the City Council if necessary. You know how much influence and power the Hammerites have acquired since the fall of the Mechanists, and you know as well as I do how things work. I will be forced to make a sudden inspection of Mr. Talbot's home, where I will be sure to find something compromising. I'll let you imagine the consequences. Therefore, for his own safety, there's only one reasonable thing to do. Convince him to leave the premises and sell the house to the Hammerites while he still has a chance of getting a good price for it. I repeat, this message must remain absolutely confidential. Captain Crook. Just Joe for you, darling. His name's actually Crook. Right, that's not uh, on the nose at all. Report from uh, Lieutenant Romilda Blake to Captain Joe Crook. Time, 9.30pm. A man named Zack was arrested while attempting to pickpocket a woman in Marketplace. Unfortunately, when they brought him in to me in order to interrogate him, he somehow managed to wriggle out of his restraints. He ran out onto the balcony and then plunged into the canal below. Lester was quick to arm his bow when he was ready to shoot him, but I ordered him to stop. I don't think that a man deserves to die just for being a thief. An incompetent thief as well, who didn't even manage to steal anything. 
I'm sure he wasn't the murderer we're trying to catch. If that was a mistake, then I'm ready to take responsibility and bear the consequences. The man's possessions were nothing of interest, just the usual thieves' equipment, plus a note addressed to a certain garret. That name sounds familiar, but I can't remember where I've heard it. Anyway, all the stuff is at your disposal in the, in the evidence room. As a caution, since the tapper did us the favour of leaving his address, I sent two men to guard his house, but I doubt that he'll show his face around there for a while. Lieutenant Romilda Blink. Alright, so there's guards in front of, uh... In front of Zach's house. Ooh. I can't get in to Captain Crook's office without a key, that's... Unfortunate. So he jumped down uh, into the canal here, did he? Well, there's a few, quite a few guards as well. Was that the same one I was watching before? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, because I was watching from over there. Oh, hang on, maybe I can get in from the balcony. Oh, ho! Always a bad idea to have weaker security. Well, the captain's actually here. Damn it, Gloria. It's been three days, I've had enough. As soon as I get home, I'll tear down that blasted door and we'll just make peace my way, I promise. There's crumpled notes. Come on, Gloria, you know you have your faults too. You neglected me, you didn't care about my needs. You, your dolls, and your teddy bears. You made me feel so lonely. Gloria, honey, you know that you're my only love, don't you? It was just a fling, nothing serious. She seduced me. I really, really didn't want to betray you, believe me. Hmm. Captain Crook. Oh, this is door, okay. I'm getting held up on the car. All these are readable, I like that. I want to cut down his uh, banner, but I don't know if that might wake him. That's his home key, okay. To Captain Joe Crook, Warden of Wayside District. Dear friend, to our great disappointment, you did nothing about the matter which was of such importance to us. You know how grateful we are to the City Council, which has provided us with a decent arrangement, enabling our return to Wayside after the fall of the heretics. But you also know that what was a temporary accommodation has become our permanent dwelling. Unfortunately, we are living in increasingly bad conditions, as our community continues to grow day after day. The building we are living in is narrow and uncomfortable, and if that's not bad enough, there is no room for the brethren who work in our little factory along the Grand Canal. They are forced to sleep there amid the noise and heat of the machines. We were not asking for gifts. We just want to come to an agreement that will allow us to acquire Mr. Talbot's property. It would be perfect for us. With those beams already in place, we could build a gallery to access the rest of the Hammerite building. However, Mr. Talbot is not willing to consider our offer, and you haven't given any effort to convincing him. With much sorrow, I must warn you that this is my final request. I don't think I need to remind you how much respect and esteem our order has earned in this community. If you do not manage to find a way to expel the villain, I will be forced to appeal to the City Council, a lost chance for your career. With regards, High Priest Archibald. Captain Crook, this is the third letter I've sent you, as I've had no response to the first two. I thought that you were the right person to complain to. I thought that you were the person in charge of maintaining order and justice in this quarter, but it seems that I was wrong. I can't bear the situation any longer. From the day the Hammerites took possession of the building in front of my house, I've had no peace. They're continuous chanting, they're patrolling all along the nearby streets as if they are the owners of the entire block. And on top of all, that blasted enormous bell that they have to ring every hour, day and night. If that isn't enough, they refuse to tear down those big beams which run from the bell tower to my window, so anyone could easily enter my home. And in spite of having put grates at my windows, I still feel insecure. This is my last request. Next time I will go to the sheriff in person, I'm sure that he will understand my problems. Regards, Mr. Talbot. Gloria, please, am I not your little teddy bear anymore? Come on, sweetie. Alright, let's, let's kill his banner. Oh shit.
Yeah. All right, where are you? So he did see me. Uh, all right, where am I? That's a really good question. So we've just uh, been through most of the police station. I may come back later, but it's probably a good idea to make tracks for the moment. Let's head south. Around the canal and evade all these fine fellows. Something weird is going on here. Yep, something weird is going on. Police are after me for no reason at all. Oh, and the city watch patrolling. In my way. Well, you know what? I'm gonna clean up a little. This is charge. All right. Well, people are still looking for me. I wonder is this does this door open? Nope. Alright, let's head to the east. Another compass that's, that's oddly hard to read. Five drank an owl. So, where is Zach's home? Sixteen. What's this note? Oh wait, is that the side door of the police station? Might be. Might be, note to a guard. Stevie, would you mind keeping an eye on my ventilator shaft kit while you were patrolling up there? I've lost the key for the gate to Narrow Lane. I think I might have dropped it in the alley, but I wasn't able to find it. Don't worry, I will reward your trouble, Sir Roland. Narrow Lane? Is Narrow Lane shown here? Not by name. And, uh, we came here. No, that's not the police station. But there are still guards patrolling. Okay. Ooh, that guard has a purse. 27, Mr. Norden, Pandora's Copper. Fine jewels. There's cat statues everywhere. So Angus Morley, Wayside Bank, deliveries to the service door only. Very good. seem to have calmed down as I went around the block, so... The, uh, captain is very drunk. But he might still be awake enough to cause me trouble. Come on, you. Lester. Come and sit in the dark, yeah. Is that the captain? No. Who was that saying that? I don't know, maybe someone up there, because I can hear footsteps. Possibly from that window. Have I finished in the police station? 
You know, I don't really quite think I have. Have. No, I didn't come this way at all. A loaf of bread, a pack of cards, I don't need that. Is that trophy valuable? Stealable? Nope. Like they have a little guard action figure there. All these banners, I can't destroy them. So sad. Door doesn't open. Right, let's see what these uh, fine fellows have locked away in their chests. Oh, that's what just lights. Okay. Some money. Very good. Finish in here. Captain Crook can. Actually, he should probably get back to sleep. Okay, okay, I'm going. Give it a shot. Seems like he's gone to fetch a uh, more guards. What am I going to be stuck here? Captain Crook. Honestly, I do believe the city would be better off without you, but uh, my job here isn't to go murdering city watch officers indiscriminately. Okay. Directions. Directions. So somebody dropped a key in the canal. No, in the sewers. Are they actually sewers that I haven't seen? Um. So north doesn't probably doesn't go very far here. What does Serpentine Street? Okay, closed due to curfew. Number three. Four. Oh, this is the security station. Security. Office. Vendor. That's you know, the thing, the people with the cameras and turrets. Bad place for me. I wonder if they got one in the window watching the street. That would not surprise me. No. Oh wait. Pandora's coffin. No, sorry, this is the jeweler. Oh, I'm gonna need a key, alright. Uh, I misread the sign. I thought it was someone and something, but it was. Oh, right, that's the guy I was hearing. So this is. Angus Morley's house. Can I get up there? It's all stone. Right, so that was the. This is the jewelers, yeah. Okay, so this is not the back door of the police station, this is the bank manager's house.
Hmm. He doesn't come down the stairs, does he? He does. Okay. Alright, well. Shame for him. Stevie. Anything in this crate? No. Oh, there is. Nice. Alright, Stevie, if you stood upstairs, I might not have had to knock you on the head. Uh, he didn't. Well, that looks like a good way to progress forward. Oh, hell. Uh, this map isn't, unfortunately, small enough for me to really note where I've been and where I haven't, and that's, that's unfortunate for me, because I'm going to have a lot of trouble remembering with all these twisty, twisty little passages. Where are you going, man? Into another room. That suits me just fine. Oh, hello. I couldn't believe my own eyes. I still can't believe it. Monsters! Insane criminals, that's what they are. Why, why did I feel the need to search for such morbid affairs? Why did I have to betray my wife? Julia is a, such an adorable woman and we could have been happy together. Who cares if we can't have children? But maybe everything is not lost. When she looks at me these days, sometimes I seem to still catch a glimmer of affection in her eyes. If only they will leave me alone. If only they'll forget about me. Julia, please help me. Stand by me. I'm so afraid. Somebody blackmailing him? I don't want to hit the light switch. Hmm. Is that right? Nothing else in your room here? So Julia was coming in this room. Gotta make sure not to stand in the light. Oops. 1812. Angus changed the access code to the bank vault again with an easier to remember one, like the day and month of my birthday. What an idiot. My birthday was just three days ago and he didn't remember it at all. Things are going from bad to worse between us. We almost never talk to each other anymore. Angus wanted a baby, but it's not happening, and he acts as if it's my fault. We spoke again with Dr. Webb, and he patiently repeated for the umpteenth time that there is no way for, for now to, a certain, to ascertain if one of us is infertile. The only thing we could do is to keep on trying and hope for the best. We could buy a baby in the walled quarter. I know it sounds horrible. However, on the one hand, they say that some people over there are so poor that they can't even feed their children. And on the other hand, people like us can't have their own babies. But it's useless to even talk about it. I should give my honourable name to a lousy bastard. Have you forgotten about the ancient noble family I belong to? That was his answer when I dared to propose it. Ha! Huh, he and his highly praised lineage. If it wasn't for my father's money, which allowed him to save the bank from collapsing, he would now have nothing, just like the poor, miserable people that he despises so much. 24 slash 5. I feel so unhappy. It's almost summer, but nothing ever changes in this quarter. No flowers, no children's voices on the streets. You don't even hear a barking dog. People don't want pets anymore. They're too busy to care about plants, and no one is having children. Lord, what's happening to us? This place seems to be dying. Angus is getting ready to go out. He's gotten in the habit of passing the whole weekend at the... Uh, X, 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 X. It's a so-called gentleman's club but I suspect that it's nothing more than a luxury brothel. I'm not going to sit in a corner and wait for his return this time. I saw a poster which publicised a barrack race, and I intend to go to see it. I've always liked barracks, but it's very rare, if not unheard of, to see one in our well-behaved district. The race takes place in the walled quarter, which they say is a bad area, so I'll have to be prudent. I asked Loretta to give me one of her dresses, and I will wear a simple cloak and no jewels, so I will look like a humble maid. Finally, a little amusement for me too. 
25 slash 5. What a wonderful night. I arrived at the walled quarter a little too early, so I took a walk around it. The place is amazing. There are ruins everywhere and plenty of plants and flowers all around, even if no one seems to take care of them. It's as if Mother Nature has taken over there. Groups of children run in the streets playing until dark. Obviously they are poor, but still they seem so happy in spite of it all. They say that this is a gangland, but fortunately no one molested me in any way. Then I went to see the barrack races. Oh lord, that was fun. There was a young man sitting near me who encouraged me to wager on Big Joe, and I won. Of course I didn't need the money, and yet I was as happy as a little girl. I plan to return there next weekend. Well, unless Angus suddenly changes his habits, which is not likely to happen. 2 slash 6. Big Joe brings me luck. I won again and again. The young man I met last Saturday was there once again. He kept on encouraging me and smiling at my joy. When the race ended, I was overheated and thirsty, so we stopped at the weary tapper for a drink. We went on talking for more than an hour. I almost forgot that I had to return home. I think that Laurent, that's his name, is some kind of guard, since he's all dressed in black, like many other men and women around there. It must be a sort of uniform, I guess. Anyway, I didn't reveal my true identity. I told him that I work as a maid in a noble's house, which I prefer not to mention since I come here in disguise. Better to be prudent, you never know. 18 slash 6. Three days have passed since it happened, and I still haven't had the courage to write about it in the diary. I feel so ashamed, so guilty, but at the same time I feel so happy, and I feel even more ashamed for being happy. My only excuse is that I drank too much, or maybe that's only a way to justify what happened. I should have known from the first time I met him that it would end this way. I should have stopped going to the walled quarter every Saturday. I should have refused to go with him to his apartment, but I didn't. I should make myself never to go to the walled quarter again, but I can't. 25-8 Good lord, this is my punishment. I am pregnant, I'm sure of it now. I wish I had a place to hide. I wish to go away, no matter where. How will I find the courage to look Angus in the eye and confess the truth? Dear me, what am I to do? 27-8 I'm calm now that I've made my decision. It was hard, as I've always been an honest and sincere person, so the idea of deceiving Angus disgusts me. Even the thought of Laurel, who will never know why I suddenly disappeared from his life, makes me suffer. Who knows, maybe he truly loved me. I spent many days torturing myself in anguish, then I suddenly realised what I had to do. I can't think about myself or about Angus or Laurel, but only about the baby. I have to do what is good for him and his future. I'll have to bear the remorse alone for my mistake, and this will be my punishment. But I already love this baby, and I know he will make me happy. 30-8 Unexpectedly, Angus stopped going to the XXXX every Saturday. He seems frightened. I wonder what's happened to him. His attitude has completely changed. Sometimes he looks at me as if he wants to apologise for something. Sometimes he seems to be asking for help. Suddenly, I remembered that once we were in love with each other. How could I have forgotten it? Maybe we could still start over. Maybe. So I don't know if the name of the place there and uh, here is censored or... I should write that down. Or if that's actually um, uh, the name of the place that hasn't been actually it wasn't decided. Hmm? You, you took me by surprise. <sighs> well, if you're pregnant, it's not showing yet. Um, is that the name of the place? I've lost my train of thought now. Uh, so Garrett just said he should write that down. Write what down? Write what down? There's nothing really to to write down here, is there? Yeah, nothing specific. Oh well. Access code to the bank vault is her birthday three days ago. So fifteen twelve, okay. Let's write that down. Uh what are these people's names either? I don't know. Fifteen twelve. I'll check the name uh out on the nameplate on the street. I guess she's not coming in. 
Uh, Alright, well, I dealt with his bedroom. And I'll wait till she goes into hers before I move, make a move back up down the hall. Yeah, it's uh, unfortunate that the access code thing was on the very first page, and it wasn't until after, you know, finishing reading all the pages in that quite long diary. Why are you looking at me? I'm not here. Don't pretend you can see me. Good. Unfortunately, the uh, I should write that down note only comes after everything else. Oh, they have a uh, dumb waiter. All right. Let's get stuck. I thought I heard the guard coming here. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, the air is horribly filthy. Oh, that's 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 the lady upstairs. All right, we're gonna have a good hidey hole here. Carrots. Street. I'm not going to leave me much time to uh, pick the lock on that money box, but I will. Maybe have to do it in, in uh, installments. Guess I was wrong about a guard coming in here. Must have just been her footsteps I was doing. Alright. Can't take the eggs. Well, they're locked as well. Hmm. Patience. Switch. Right, never mind, I will wait around and pick the locks as she leaves the room. That's uh, a nice hole. Lots of fine gold dishes they have there. Is this door also locked? It does sound like she's locking it behind her. Which is interesting. Try and follow her in there because, or well, at least up to it. Yeah. Please don't hurt me. Oh. Over here. He, he has a sword. All oh, right. Doesn't actually open properly. All right. While well, she's running for the guards, I will uh, get my bearings here. I've just come out the western window, and I still don't know what. Uh, whose place this is? Was that this one? Oh, I don't know. Where am I? Canal, there's another bridge. Big mansion. Yeah, I must be standing here. I'm seeing the end of this mansion. Okay. So who is... Who... 
Whose one is that? Whose house is that? What's their name? I'd like to know. Oh, she did find a guard. Oh, city watch. Letting those stay alert get the best <laughs> Yeah, staying alert is just the max game. Who would want to stay alert? Hmm. Grace. Well, this isn't a good spot to hide her. Sleeping. I think that's probably alright. <coughs> Maybe. Maybe I can find a darker spot. Like here. Oh Whose who place is that? Freddy Open Canals and Sewer Maintenance. Alright, that sounds like an interesting place to be. Oh, now that's heading south, isn't it? Alright, I'm here again. So, who was the guard that she found? And more importantly, what's her name? Not oh, this house number two, is it? Swan Crescent. Here it is, I'm all turned about. I don't know where I am. Number 13, got some carrots. Although this, this map layout is based on a bit of Thief 2, um, it's definitely changed a lot. And I do like they've got all these houses with uh, actual entrances off the canals. Very nice. I found a use for my river. So. Oops. Although the parts of it feel familiar, there's also a lot that's new, so it definitely feels like exploring a new place. So I like it. But, oh, these tiny thin edges are not good. What do we have here? A thief's note. That Zack is an idiot. How can you pick pockets if you can't run faster than the guards? Fortunately, they didn't catch me too. Anyway, that deposit box key I managed to steal is worth nothing to me. No way I can sneak into the bank. If you're interested, I hid it behind the turbine in front of the pharmacy. Checked. Alright. Do we have the pharmacy marked here? The pharmacy's there. There's a key somewhere here. Thank you, chat. Does this pipe take me anywhere of use? No? It'll just be noisy. Hmm. Let's go down again. Take my repair with me. It's quite a long fall, what I might try and do. I'm a brick save in case I kill myself. <laughs> What I'm trying to do is grab it and jump into the canal. Whee! Splash. Perfect. Um, Alright, let's go around to the west. Get some more, or... Around here. Am I just coming back up this way? No, surely not. Well, that's where I, that is where I started. This is just where I came from, isn't it? Oh, I really don't know anymore. 
I also suppose I should probably be swimming underwater and looking out for for things. No one. You're imagining things. Fourteen. Two doors at level fourteen. That's interesting. We're looking for sixteen, right? Sixteen is that place. Aha! Sewer entrance. Let's see what that was. Someone there? Who's there? Get over here. There's nobody there. Well, there was the note in the police station about somebody who'd lost something in the sewer, but uh, I don't know which bit of sewer it might be. Well, he obviously saw me there, but uh, I will try and, try and forget that. Can't hear anyone in there. Someone there, I just couldn't hear them or I wasn't listening for long enough. Better. Still not very dark, but uh, it is darker. Don't mind me, man. Steal everything you have. Or safety deposit box key at least. Dear Charlotte, along with this letter I'm sending you some more money. I recommend that you immediately take it to the bank and put it in our deposit box. You can't be too careful. I saw some sinister faces around the last time I visited you and that Zack on the ground floor. I don't like him at all. I'm sure I've seen him hanging out around with those people from the walled quarter. Stay alert. As for the rest, well... It's hard to explain. Alexandros is a generous master. The work as a cook is never too hard. The personnel are treated very well. The lodging is more than decent, but still. Do you remember when I told you how the fact that we are obliged to wear a mask on duty made me laugh? It seems so absurd and ridiculous. Well, I'm glad of it now, and I'm even more glad that everyone else, from the guards to the guests, is wearing one. I don't want to know their identity, and I don't want them to know mine. Once I get out of this place, I want to forget them all, because I'm too ashamed of what I'm witnessing here. I'm afraid to say any more. Only one thing. About the young Paulette who wanted to ask for work as a maid, her, maid here. Tell her not to do it. I am older and I thought I had seen just about everything. But this place is wicked. Evil. I will stay just long enough to save some money for my old age. Then I will retire. In fact, I can't wait to get away. Let me know how you are and how things are going. I'll let you know if there's any news. Your loving sister, Mariana. Well, uh... Some more information about uh, Alexandros's place. Who's Alexandros? Name rings a bell. Uh, he was the guy who runs the the unnamed place in the other diary, wasn't it? Hmm. But where? So we just picked up key twelve. So we got twelve and seven and three four keys. I don't know how many we have, but we have an objective to try and find all of them. I'm just going to follow her again. See if there's anything in this room. <clears throat> there is. Well, you may sleep, ma'am, because I have to steal from you, Charlotte. Yeah, at least sleep comfortably on your own bed. And uh, picking the lock while standing behind you is not going to be easy enough. Yeah, it's quite a long, big, quite a complex lock too. All right, look at look at that carved uh, support there. All right. Oh, actually, could I have put that lamp out? I could have put the lamp out. That would have made my job much easier. Oh well. Uh, I have stumbled upon Zach's apartment by accident. That explains the guards. No, 
And the cows seem to have uh, calmed down. Where's Zach's key? Wait. I thought I picked up the key. Captain Crook's home. Message from Zack. Oh, I haven't managed to obtain the key yet. Meet me later at my home. I'm sure I'll be able to deliver it to you. But, I can't get into his home. Dear, dear, dear. Does that mean uh, Zack dropped the key to his house? I thought I picked it up. I might have to go look where he jumped into the canal to see if he dropped it there. Alright, uh, I guess that's what I will try and do next. Um, but I'm going to end the episode here. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.